punchity punch punch. Hello and welcome to another tutorial with Crunchlins. Today I'm just going to walk you through a few keyboard shortcuts that I find really useful. So I apologise if you're already a Flash user and you already know all this. This might be a little bit boring for you, but these are things that I really think are useful in a workflow. So thought I'd just run you through them. So let's get started. So I've drawn a little cartoon version of me quite shoddily for the purposes of this tutorial and this is it. And the first shortcut I'm going to show you is the zoom shortcut. And obviously over here you've got the zoom tool there which you can skip to with the Z button but you can click to zoom in or you can drag boxes to zoom in but I personally prefer to use if you hold down control on your keyboard and to zoom out you hit the minus key and to zoom in you hit the plus key and you can zoom in pretty far I think you can zoom in to yeah two thousand percent and you can zoom out to four percent you can use the little magnifying glass as well if you want which can be useful for zooming in to <laughs> to admire what a flawless circle I've drawn there so let's immediately ignore that um, also I find that zooming in just to work with uh, typing in 65 percent in the zoom bar up there uh, I find that that's good if you're working with uh, with I, I'm animating in uh, 1280 pixels by 720 pixels um, so this kind of zooms into a, a decent decent proportion I'm going to show you the undo shortcut so let's say that we drew uh, really massive eyebrows on the character and then we're like oh it's not really right for the the theme of this so you just hold down control and whilst you're doing that, tap the Z button. And you can do that uh, up to a certain point. You can change how many times you're allowed to undo it in the preferences, I believe. But um, you can do that as much as you want. So if you, no matter how much you mess it up, you can just kind of do a Control Z and it undoes it for you. Okay, so now we're going to go to doing brush size changes. So what you've got to do here is you've got square brackets on your keyboard somewhere they should look something like that except more square and less messy um, so this one that reduces the size of your brush so we're actually on the smallest brush size at the moment but the other one that increases the size of your brush so you can go for a really big sort of full beard style brush uh, that looks awful um, so you can kind of go for anything in between you don't have to go for the small or the big you can go for a medium sort of size so that's brush sizes so that's zoom undo and brush sizes now we're going to move on to the timeline which is this area down here that is labeled timeline now your timeline, as I might have mentioned in the previous tutorial, your timeline controls what is on your screen at what point. So on the first frame we've got this rather dashing picture of me and then on the second frame I've drawn a different picture of me. And obviously that's not a very smooth transition <laughs> because in one of them he's like really shocked and standing upright and then the next one he's totally sort of collapsed but this is an excellent way to be able to demonstrate the shortcuts to skipping between frames because you'll have less than and greater than keys on your keyboard that should look like that now if you tap the one that points left that will take you one frame back and if you press the one that points right that will take you one frame forward and you can do that basically as much as you want and that I mean it's still a really bad transition there and that would definitely need some in-between animation but 
you get the idea that that's a really good way if you're drawing stuff and you just want to quickly flick back and you don't want to use the onion skinning tool which we'll go into another time it's just a really easy way to be able to go and steal the colors that you need or or look at what was in a previous frame now if you click f5 which <laughs> just looks like that basically f5 it extends the frame that you're on it's it's called insert frame but basically it, you're you're extending the frame that you're already you already have selected then f6 let's just click on frame 10 because that's got no keyframes there f6 inserts a keyframe so a keyframe basically just in inserts a replica of the previous frame that was selected so we've got two of of the same thing now and then basically what you can use that for is if you wanted to draw a big kind of crazy moustache and beard on on your character on one frame but not on the one before that's a really easy way of being able to do that without losing an entire frame then we've got F7 and F7 inserts a blank keyframe so now it, it's gone all white down the bottom there and that means that there's nothing in that frame so that means then you can draw on a, a totally new face or whatever you want to do and then that's part of the timeline so we've got a pretty weird looking cartoon going on here just a guy kind of waving his arms about then he suddenly has a beard and moustache and then he's just a small face really badly drawn so yeah that's that's the main shortcuts that I tend to use really because a lot of people when they start learning don't bother to learn the shortcuts and I can totally understand why because it sounds like it's just more to remember and it's going to just slow you down but after having used Flash for quite a while I've kind of realised that these are actually very very useful in your workflow especially if you're under pressure to get stuff done quickly um, it just really speeds up the process um, thank you for bearing with me because I'm I'm trying to uh, get a cartoon out every two weeks which is very difficult because um, animation is a very long process so thank you for bearing with me and uh, not complaining that uh, I'm being too slow and stuff like that because I'm actually being quite fast, really, so I appreciate you uh, sticking by me. And I'll do more tutorials when I get the chance, so keep posting your comments as to what you want me to explore in tutorials, and I'll, I'll try and do that. So yeah, thank you very much, and see you next time. Goodbye!